Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is your 10 minute core routine for athletes. Let's start in plank. Get into a good plank position. We're gonna be holding this for 30 seconds. Make sure you're creating a strong line with your body and not arching your back or dipping too low. Focus on creating as much tension as you can, squeezing all of your muscles. Keep holding it, we're almost there. Now quickly switch over to side plank on your right side. Same thing here, create a strong line with your body, making sure your hips aren't dipping too low. Now switch over to your left side. Same thing here, holding for 15 seconds. You can do it, stay strong. So now we're gonna go into a hollow hold. So make sure your low back is pressed into the ground, arms above your head, legs up. Hold at whatever angle you can maintain. Holding for 20 seconds. Make sure that low back is into the ground and you're feeling this in your core. This one is really tough. I know I was feeling the burn, but we're almost there. Hold strong. And done. Now we're gonna take a quick breather and do a couple stretches before we head back into the same three exercises for another round. When you're ready, get into position for your plank. And go. Same idea, make sure you're creating a long, strong line with your body and keeping your back flat. Keep holding, creating as much tension as you can. You can do this, make sure you're still breathing. Just a few more seconds, hold strong. Now flip over to a side plank. You can challenge yourself this time by lifting your leg or you can keep it in the same place. Just a few more seconds. Flip over to the other side. Same thing, you can challenge yourself by lifting your leg or arm. Holding for 15 seconds. And done. Come onto your back for your hollow hold. Same idea here, make sure your lower back is pressed firmly into the ground with your hands above your head and your legs at whatever angle that you can maintain. Hold strong here, just a few more seconds. Good work, this burns, keep it up. And done. Now we can take a few seconds to breathe. I did a couple cat cows just to release tension in my core and my back. Just a few seconds here and we'll go in for one more round, starting in plank. And go, hold strong, last round. Create that long line, really being disciplined with your back, not sinking too low or up too high with your hips. Again, squeeze as much as you can, creating as much tension as you can in your core, your arms, and your legs. This is your last round. I know it burns, but stay strong. Keep breathing. When it gets hard, I like to focus on my breath, breathing deeply. And done, roll over for side plank. Challenge yourself this time for the last round. You can lift a leg or your arm, or stay in the same place. Done, switch over to the other side. Challenge yourself with the leg or the arm up. A few more seconds, and done. Good job, that one was tough. Now for the last one, roll onto your back for your hollow hold, and go. Hold strong here, maintain whatever level that you can while keeping your back pressed firmly on the ground. Just a few more seconds, stay strong, we're almost there. Remember to breathe deeply. And done, first round complete. Take a few seconds to stretch whatever you need to breathe deeply, preparing for the second round. I did a couple cat cows while sitting up.
Now preparing for the next round, we are going to go into a Pilates sit-up. So what you're gonna do is start laying down with your hands back, slowly roll up and fold over your legs. We're gonna have a few of these. Slowly roll up, fold over your legs and slowly vertebra by vertebra, roll down. Same thing, rolling up, reaching high, folding over, slowly with control, rolling down. You should feel this deep in your core. This is not a simple exercise. Good, roll down slowly with control, reach above your head, reach forward and roll up. Done for this round. Now we're gonna go into bicycles. Reach opposite knee to opposite elbow, leading with your elbows. Make sure your upper body is off the ground. Feel the twist in your core. We're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. Keep a pace that you can maintain. Make sure your low back is pressed firmly into the ground and you're feeling this in your core. Keep twisting, reaching with your upper body. And done. We are going to now start that over again with those two exercises. Starting with the Pilates sit-up. Make sure to challenge yourself here and go as slow and controlled as you can. When we're ready, let's start. Lay back, hands above your head. Slowly roll up, reaching hands above your head, then folding over your legs. Now slowly with control, roll down. Repeat the process again. Rolling up, using your core, fold over, back down, reach over your head. Just a couple more here. Reach, roll over, roll down very slowly with control. This one burns. It's simple, but it's effective. Good work. And done. Now we're going into the bicycles again. Get prepared with your low back into the ground and go. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Really driving with your upper body. Think of meeting your upper body to your knee rather than the opposite. Make sure your knees are stopping around your belly button and you're reaching with your upper body. Keep going, I know this one is tough. Good work, here we go, finish it off. Keep twisting and challenging yourself. And done. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Take a quick breather and we'll go into the Pilates sit up when we're ready. Here we go, time to push it. With control, roll up, reach overhead, roll over and roll down with control. You should really feel this one with your core. So try not too much to swing with your arms, but to lead with your core. This should be leading the whole exercise. Good, roll over, reach up, roll down with control. Just a couple more. You can do it. Good, and rolling down with control. Done. Very good. Final bicycles of this round. Here we go. 30 seconds, bicycles, let's go. Challenge yourself here. I know this round is hard, but keep reaching with your upper body. I was really feeling the burn here, but keep pushing yourself. Good, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Keep up that pace. We are almost there. And done. Pull your knees into your chest. That one was tough, but you made it. Good work. Take a couple seconds here to breathe. Roll up slowly, and we're going to go into our final block of this core series. Let's go. Roll out your neck. Do whatever you need to prepare for this final block. We're going into boat pose. So reach your knees up and balance. 
Now go into low bow. High bow to low bow. Boat to low bow. Really work on the stability here. Holding your legs high as you can to then drop into that low bow. Everything is controlled. Your upper body, your upper back never touches the ground. You can do it, just a couple more seconds. Done. Now we're going to go into a very controlled bird dog. Reach opposite elbow to opposite knee with control, keeping a very flat back. Reach that leg back and that arm forward as long as you possibly can with control. Good, just a couple more here. Keep this up. Reaching as long as you can without curving your back. Other side, let's go. Reach long and strong. When you curl in, you can exhale. When you go long, you can inhale. Good, keep a flat back and reach as long as you can. Stay controlled here, just a couple more. Done. We're gonna go back into the boat and low boat exercise, starting in boat. Find your balance position with your legs high and your arms next to your legs. Go into low boat, back up to boat. Good, repeat this, staying strong, controlled, and balanced. Good work. You should be pulling yourself up with your core. Just a couple more, you're almost there. Just try to control as best as you can. And done. Go back to your quadruped position to start your second round of bird dogs. Bring opposite leg to opposite elbow. Good, with control, curling in and extending long. Challenge yourself here to up the tempo without losing any control. Good work. Reach long and keep your back flat. Switch sides. Elbow in, leg long. Elbow in, leg long. Good. Keep it up. Just a couple more. Here we go. Good work. We're almost there. Keep it up. And done, congrats, you completed today's core series. That was a challenging one. Make sure to take a couple seconds just to stretch out, breathe, and recover. You did awesome. If you like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or even send to a friend to challenge them. More workouts like this are coming very soon. Keep getting better every day.